So I'm here in IKEA's new logistics depot in Rathcool in County Dublin. And I have to say, it's absolutely massive. It runs to 27,000 square metres, which is the same size as two crow parks. It also is going to hold 9,000 of the 11 or so thousand products that IKEA is normally stock. And the key thing here is that in times past, anybody who ordered from IKEA had the products shipped from Peterborough in the UK, across the Irish Sea, and then into Ireland. From now on, all of the deliveries will happen within the island of Ireland. And right now, it's like the Marie Celeste. There isn't a sinner here, but I'm told that that's because we're here and that normally this place is an absolute hive of buzzing activity. This location will actually do more than half a million deliveries to customers' homes every year. And by next summer, all of those uh, deliveries that are made to people's homes will be done with an electric vehicle. Today we're up to 71% is done with an electric vehicle, but it will reach 100% by next summer. Ireland is one of their best performing stores in the world, so obviously the Irish consumer clearly loves IKEA and what they do. But of course there are challenges when it comes to a place like IKEA because they're a big international retailer and they're maybe taking business away from smaller retailers in this country. I guess IKEA contribute a lot then locally as well, so you have to consider you know, the jobs, you know, the areas they, they brought to life, Ballymun, um, with their store a number of years ago, and it's certainly become a part of the community employing local people. I was talking to uh, the managing director there, and he's, you know, a lot of his team are with him since the store opened, yeah. which is, you know, it indicates the type of company that they are to work for.